So what was your take on that rich boy? Why? Why, Tom? That old Spanish boy. I never actually seen it, actually. Yeah, well, hey. Pull it up. This is going to be a reaction video. <laughs> In stereo. Two camera edition. Because we're not some amateurs here with a one camera set up and we got a two camera set up. I was, I, I used to like that one was the uh, two girl one cup reaction videos. <laughs> you know it was a bunch of Marines, you know what they're going to do? <laughs> What's the Marine doing everything? <laughs> So they did half this ritual without the Boston accent. Now all of a sudden they got a Boston accent. You think about it. <laughs> the ritual didn't work because they didn't do it right. You think about it. What Charlie Sheen does for us best is crack off of hookers. Yep. Or was that cocaine? <laughs> Come forth from the dark. And Charlie Sheen. Come forth from the dark. And thus perpetuate anything that perpetuates that goal, which is why this ritual did not work. I don't know. They, they, I, they've uh, said some choice words about Wiccans on their podcast when it comes to ritual. But it's funny because this is a Wiccan ritual. <laughs> These, this is the group I keep talking about, the people that are Wiccan but refuse to call themselves Wiccans. I'm not in that category, am I? No. Are you glad? I don't know. <laughs> it's got every characteristic of a Wiccan ritual. The only characteristics it doesn't have are the more controversial ones, which a lot of Wiccans don't even do anyway. Like, let's call quarters. How about let's not call quarters? But they basically did call quarters. They called north, south, east, and west. They just, instead of calling the watchtowers of the quarters of some abstract whatever that nobody cares about, instead, they called specific entities to represent those directions. Hmm. This is actually educational for me. Well, I mean, the thing about Wicca, and, and the, the, the first thing you learn with spell work, this is fucking Wicca 101 here, and whatever you do with spell, be very careful with your wording. Because what your wording says is what's actually going to happen. So, the main thing I caught on to was help him do what he does best. Well, what he does best is public performance. Part of his public performances were claiming to be a warlock just for shock value. And thus they're perpetuating him conveying himself as a warlock even though that was not the intent of the ritual. They actually did a ritual to hurt themselves their in single goal. How was Charlie Sheen doing now anyway? Oh, everybody's booing him out of theaters. Which again, improves shock value, which is what he does best. They're still showing up to the theaters. <laughs> they sure are. What's that calling in? Don't beat the trolls? <laughs> Even though it's a short ritual, I mean, that's characteristic of Wiccans. Wiccans have, have a short ritual. That's just how it is. We are, if we could do a ritual through a drive-thru window, we would. 
you drive your car to the east window now? <laughs> I mean, the symbolism is there. I mean, you're always going to have those eclectic elements in there. Yeah. Christian Day's particular eclectic element is his necromancy. But uh, using a jackal as a symbol of termination slash not as in death, but as in moving on. Come on, that's his medic right there. But anyways. I'm not a scholar. I'm not even an academic and I know this shit. <laughs> the only thing that got me about it is... This podcast is sponsored by Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> let's, 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 let's read your tank. If you are in Texas, you drink Dr. Pepper. Or you're worth the trolls. <laughs> Like, you, you really can't reach across to punch someone in the face. Oh, yeah, that's kind of dumb, but not really. Charles, uh, Christian Day, Charlie G. Christian Day, I kind of believe Um, you know, Christian Day was saying this is a ritual to stop them from using the word warlock. Which are no longer in print. You cannot find them. 
part of the mind. A lot of it was stuff on meditation. Uh, so basically the secret. Part? The secret. I haven't, I haven't seen that yet. It's a book. Stuff, stuff, stuff on meditation. Uh, how to encourage preempt or uh, free call, things like that. I, I mean, that was a while one of the last episodes of uh, Day of Shadow. An absolutely amazing show, but uh, guy went eight years. But one of his last episodes of King, uh, he said that he, he got a guest on, they just totally deconstructed the secret, explain what it is, explain the bullshit, but he just deconstructed it. The secret? The secret. What's the secret? Ooh, I have a mind it's a book that says you can unlock life and happiness and you just read and do the steps in this book and you know what it works out to? Have a positive that look up live, meditate once in a while, act as in your own personal shoes. You know, one-on-one bullshit. So why did he turn atheist? Oh, Dale? Yeah. Uh, he just got sick and tired of bullshit and hey, pretty sure of it. So is he like actual atheist or just social atheist? Oh no, he's like a Buddhist atheist. Alright, let's get it. We got two cameras filming anyway. Oh, here's what I get at. I can't get out of them when you talk to some of those, uh, talk to some of the, well, atheists and all stuff. One, they don't even know their own religion. They don't know science. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, okay, well, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll bite that, that whole hocus pocus stuff. Just make believe. Okay, I'll bite on that for a minute. Now, can you explain this quantum, this, uh, what was it? Quantum, quantum, quantum entanglement? Yeah, quantum entanglement. Thank you. I'll look for that word. How's that work? I mean, you have a light piece over here and a light piece over here. I just want to fix this one over here, make this one over here, move faster than the speed of light. I mean, can you help me out with this? <laughs> oh, and if they know what to know, it's like, oh, it's because they're entangled. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what the but they're that mean? <laughs> particles, right? I mean, they're like energy and matter, just like you and I, right? Then you get the blank stare. Hell. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, I, I still stand fast by this. Anybody who says they know what's going on in the universe, when we have the ability to perceive a mere fraction. No, I'm not sorry, that's humorous. For some reason, I get the feeling this conversation get more entertaining if I turned off. 